hello welcome or welcome back to life on the French uh, today we're gonna be talking about Christmas hamsters so for those of you who've been following me for a long time you might remember that last year after Christmas I put up a couple videos about Christmas hamsters or Chris like hamsters that are bought at Christmas kind of spontaneously this year I wanted to do a video before Christmas to kind of prevent the buying of Christmas hamsters. So, uh, as you know, I am a hamster lover. Uh, I had four hamsters. Um, Butter recently passed away. So now we have three hamsters. Uh, Rocky, our oldest, uh, who's a rescue. Um, Patch and Gamer, who's also a rescue. So, there's a couple reasons why I don't support getting hamsters for Christmas. One of them is that they aren't just for Christmas. Just like any pet that you get at Christmas, whether it's a dog or a kitten or a hamster, you are taking them in to your house for longer than just the holiday. You're taking them in and the responsibility for them for their entire life. Um, with a hamster in particular, uh, I think this is kind of even more of a problem, uh, partially because of the way that they are marketed and partially because there's no easy way of getting out of owning a hamster ethically. So what do I mean by that? Hamster products like the Katie uh, brand of cages or the Petco, PetSmart, like tiny tails, uh, hamster cages that look like fire trucks or dinosaurs or all kinds of like, there's like a rocket ship. Those are all geared towards kids. They're colorful, they're fun to look at, they're like supposedly fun to put together, but every review that I've watched says that they are not fun to put together. Um, but they're enticing and they're designed for kids, specifically little kids. Little kids whose parents probably know that they don't have the responsibility to take care of a dog, but maybe they could take care of a hamster. And this just isn't true. Uh, partially because those cages are not adequate for a hamster. Um, hamsters need at least 450 square inches, but also because the responsibilities of caring for a hamster go beyond that of a small child by themselves. Um, so if you're an adult looking to buy a pet, uh, you should get a pet that you will also enjoy. So if you're not also going to enjoy caring for a hamster and taking care of a hamster, you shouldn't get your kid a hamster because that responsibility is probably gonna fall on you. Cleaning cages, not super fun, uh, requires like scrubbing down, you know, the wheels and stuff, um, not making a mess when you take out the bedding or put bedding in, uh, vacuuming, um, you know, the pieces that inevitably end up on the floor, uh, transporting the hamster out of the cage into a different enclosure while you clean the enclosure. Those are all things that like little kids are not going to be able to do by themselves. So unless you as an adult also want a hamster, you shouldn't be getting them for your kids. Now let's say that you're an adult and you're moderate. So what, you know, if you want to get your kids a hamster, but you don't want a hamster, I suggest a plushy hamster, you know, you can put it in a little cage and see how well they train, you know, take care of their pet hamster. Do they feed it? Do they put water? Do they change the bedding? Uh, at a test because um, this hamster won't end up being malnourished or mistreated uh, by your child. And it still provides them with the responsibilities of a hamster. The other reason that your child might not like having a hamster uh, is that they're nocturnal and they burrow. So you don't actually see hamsters that much. 
uh, even less than having a fish. With a fish, you can always like see the fish and it's like swimming around. With a hamster, oftentimes they're underground, especially if you give them the proper amount of burrowing, which is six inches at least uh, depth of bedding. Your hamster's gonna spend a lot of that time underground and the time that they spend above ground is going to be like at sunset or later or very early in the morning. Um, and they run on their wheels a lot at night. So if your kid is a light sleeper, you know, it just might not be a compatible fit for a kid. I really think that the right market for hamsters might be for uh, maybe young adults who live in a space that's not quite big enough for a dog um, and maybe they don't like cats or if you live in an apartment um, like we live in an apartment having hamsters is basically our only option that or fish uh, that we could have in our apartment building that might be the better market and I don't know why pet stores aren't marketing towards that demographic especially when a lot of young people really benefit from the, you know, mental health aspects of caring for a pet. Um, but they've really honed in on the kid market for some reason, and it befuddles me. Uh, but like I said, the second reason uh, getting a hamster for Christmas uh, is precarious, more so than maybe getting a cat or dog, is that say you end up with a hamster and it's a watch only hamster or a hamster that you know doesn't like being in, like interacting with humans like our rescue rock he doesn't that might not be providing the pet experience that you want what do you do or let's say you get a hamster that bites right and you try to train it out but you have a little kid and they're like it's nibbling you know nibbling all the time and so you want to get rid of your hamster. Well, a lot of animal shelters don't take in hamsters. They take cats, dogs, maybe rabbits, but it's very uncommon for them to take in something as small as a hamster because their lifespans aren't that long. So you end up turning to like Facebook Marketplace or maybe Pet Finder um, to try to personally advertise you know your hamster like to be rescued which is how we ended up with gamer it's it's so strange um and there's just not a lot of great options and i'll just toss this in as kind of a third thing to consider um you know with adopt and don't shop that's kind of a motto I support. I'm not as rigid about it as some uh, content creators are, but there are a lot of hamsters out there that need homes that are up for adoption. And if you're trying to get a, an animal for a holiday, you're not as flexible with like waiting for a hamster to become available, you know? So for example, Stan and I will be waiting until after the holidays to adopt another hamster partially because we want to give time to grieve butter but also because we know that after Christmas a lot of people will get rid of their hamsters that they don't want because they didn't realize how much work they are or how expensive they are or that they aren't kid friendly um, or that they're boring and so we want to adopt a Christmas hamster um, you know, and this isn't to turn people off who like want to get a ha who have wanted to get a hamster, who have researched getting a hamster, and they are getting it. You know, this Christmas to like celebrate. That is not the audience I'm talking to at all. Uh, if you've been researching getting a hamster and you are aware of what they need and you're prepared to provide what they need, then like getting out on a holiday is not the problem. I'm talking to the impulse buying of hamsters around the holidays kind of like bunnies are bought at easter hamsters are bought at christmas um so 
If you found this video informative, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of our content, click subscribe, ding the bell button to know when we post. Uh, and most importantly, I hope you have a wonderful holiday season. Bye!